Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video, I'll be talking about DeFi. DeFi is an open and global financial system built for the internet age. An alternative to a system that's opaque, tightly controlled and held together by decades old infrastructure and processes. It gives you control and visibility over money. With DeFi, you can do most of the things that banks support or interest, borrow, lend, buy insurance, trade derivatives, trade assets and more. But it's faster and doesn't require paperwork or third party. So far, tens of billions of dollars worth of crypto have flowed into the DeFi applications and it's growing every day. In this video, let us learn more about DeFi. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Alright, let us take a look at the agenda for today's video. Firstly, I'll be introducing the concept of DeFi or Decentralized Finance followed by some of the use cases of DeFi in the real world right now. And then I'll be talking about some of the core benefits of using DeFi. That is, what we will benefit from using DeFi over the already existing centralized finance system or CeFi. And then I'll talk about how can you invest in DeFi right now. And finally, I'll be talking about the things to consider before investing in DeFi system. Now that we are clear with the agenda, let us move on with the first topic, introduction. In technical terms, DeFi is an open source, permissionless and transparent financial service ecosystem that uses cryptocurrencies instead of regular fiat currency. Regular fiat currencies here mean the currencies which regular governments have like the US dollar and the Indian rupees. DeFi allows users to enjoy a wide range of financial services while maintaining full control over their data and assets. People interact with the ecosystem through direct peer-to-peer -peer or also known as P2P exchanges and dApps. dApps are short for decentralized applications. So you can have the services of decentralized finance through applications called as dApps. And these are not controlled by any central power. These are controlled by the common public. It is a distributed financial system which is not confined to any country borders. Anyone in the world can use this system. The term decentralized here means that the system is not controlled by any single organization which usually means the country's government or the banks which is in turn again controlled by the government. The concept is made possible by dApps or decentralized apps which I've already talked about and they are mainly built on the Ethereum blockchain technology. These are apps that again used decentralized architecture that is the technology used to build this uh, Ethereum blockchain is done by decentralized architecture. That is, there is no centralized body uh, owning this blockchain technology. And finally, it is also an umbrella term for all the financial products and services like savings, loan, lending, bonds, etc., which uses cryptocurrencies to operate. Now, let us move on to the use cases of a DeFi system. You can use the DeFi system for opening, borrowing, opening an account, borrowing, lending, and all the other things you can do in a bank account, traditional bank account. And then you can also have interest earning opportunities followed by decentralized insurance and trading exchanges. So you need not depend on the stock market like the Bombay Stock Exchange, BSE or NSE, which is also National Stock Exchange. Or if you want to do international stock trading, which is done by New York Stock Exchange, you can skip that process and use the decentralized insurance and trading exchanges. And then improve data, asset and supply chain management. Faster, more secure and completely automated payments and contracts. So you need not depend on any middleman or banking officials to get your uh, transactions through. You can just do it online, wait for a few minutes and then it will be done. You can also have more efficient voting and identity services. Imagine standing in long queues to vote for your uh, candidate. Instead of that, you can sit at home and then just uh, vote for your candidate online and which is not uh, owned by any central body so that they can manipulate your votes. It is all decentralized and all the people who are um, participating in the voting can have a look at the database. So no fraud can take place. It is also used in wealth protection and inflation resistant savings. So you can uh, have savings in the decentralized finance system as well. You can also have enhanced social media and content distribution. Now imagine this scenario where uh, you post some content which is uh, apparently controversial to some uh, group of people 
and they decide to report your post and then the post gets deleted so uh, who is right here uh, no one is actually right this is done by the central body if you have a central body governing a social media let's say facebook or twitter they can take down your posts in case you don't want it to happen and you you want to have free speech you can use the decentralized system and content distribution as well so that uh, people can uh, have free speech and say whatever they want to without the fear of their uh, content being taken down now let us move on to the core benefits of defi first we have democratized finance people without bank accounts or those who want real finance autonomy can access a wide range of financial services Many in developing countries will go straight to DeFi without ever dealing with a major bank. Next we have security and transparency. By splitting the financial services industry up, the system loses many of its weak points and becomes far more transparent, meaning more power to the people and less shady business behind the scenes. And then you have uh, no need for third parties. You can say goodbye to the third parties who are in charge of your every financial services and access and they take a cut of your uh, services as well. This is a huge step towards more independence and uh, freedom for the everyday person. Next we have innovation through competition. Because anyone can build a D app or a decentralized application to integrate with other D apps and anyone can access this system. It is an open source system. Ethereum is basically open source and uh, you can build your own D app there. The DeFi market uh, will be extremely competitive, so there is no uh, monopoly in the decentralized finance system. The interdependence between D apps means that they can keep adding value to each other and evolving rapidly. Next, we have new and novel applications. There are many novel and mind-boggling things you can do with blockchain, crypto, and DeFi. It is still very early days, uh, but the potential and scope of this movement is hard to fathom. The next benefit is it is cheaper because D apps can offer services autonomously and without a third party. They can also offer them at much lower cost than their centralized equivalents like banks, insurance companies, etc. The next benefit we have is the use of blockchain technology. There are countless ways DeFi allows the average person to earn passive income or invest in blockchain technology beyond just buying cryptocurrencies. Now that we have seen the core benefits of DeFi, let us move on to how to invest in DeFi. There is no shortage of ways that you can invest in DeFi. Given the range of options, uh, I recommend uh, doing some solid research before choosing an investment pathway. However, if you're looking for the easiest way to invest in DeFi, it is simply by Ethereum. While other projects like Polkadot and Cardano are pushing the DeFi space forward, Ethereum is by far the biggest name in the space and is currently where most of the DeFi action is taking place. Alright, let us move on to the next topic. Things to consider before investing in DeFi. There are undoubtedly many risks and downsides that come with an, any new movement of this big scale. Here are some of the things you should keep in mind before investing. As DeFi is a new and rapidly evolving space, there is a threat of security issues, fraud, scams and pump and dump schemes as there aren't many established names and there is a lot of hype in the industry. Investing in DeFi can be extremely lucrative but much like crypto, it carries a degree of risk in its current stage. Like crypto, many DeFi projects will inevitably fail and take their investors money with them. Some projects like Uniswap and Golem have proved their value, but not many of them will stand the test of time. Currently, there is a lack of insurance against hacks or other fraudulent activities in DeFi, meaning you could potentially lose your investment. And the next thing you should consider is that if there is a flaw in the code of a smart contract built on Ethereum's network, it can lead to loss of funds. So you must be aware of this risk and then decide whether you want to invest in the right DeFi app or not. Scalability is an issue and Ethereum's greatest challenge. Transactions can take a long time to be confirmed and can be quite expensive to execute at times of congestion. And finally, you should be aware that uh, while DeFi is by no means a finished product, risks and speed bumps are not to be expected with any new revolutionary technology. I advise all the investors to DYOR basically which means do it at your own risk and proceed with caution. 
As always, never invest in what you can't afford to lose. That's it from my side, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info, guys. Intellipad provides blockchain certification training, mentored by industry experts. The course link of which is given in the description below.